Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing a collective haul. I have been sucked into a number of different releases and sales, and I thought I would go ahead and share the items that have wormed their way into my heart, into my life. I will leave timestamps down below in case you wanna to go to different like areas that I've shopped to, but I'm gonna start with Ulta. So Ulta was doing like a fall haul coming off the 21 Days of Beauty, and around that same time, there was a number of like drugstore or non like Sephora-esque brands releasing some of their like holiday stuff that really caught my eye. So I placed an order or two for all things holiday. First thing I was really jazzed about was the Essence um, Lash Princess Mascara Set. So you get all four of the Lash Princesses. You get the False Lash Effect um, regular and waterproof volume and sculpted volume mascara, which I'm really excited about. This is probably one of my favorite mascara lines that I've come across high end or drugstore. And I haven't tried all the ones in here. So I thought it would be a good time to be able to explore them. It was a reasonable $14.99, which for me is a great price point. Again, I probably would have purchased these on my own accord. So seeing them all here in a set for a few extra dollars less than individual retail was great for me. Then I also got sucked in because I was low on cleansing balm. And so I decided to go ahead and purchase this little double cleanse set from Vanilla, which is my favorite cleansing balm brand. This is the Clean It Zero Purifying Super Relief Plus Double Cleansing Starter Kit. What you get in here is their cleanser from the like, Sicko Relief line and then also their like specific cleansing balm. When I first wanted to try this brand out, I actually purchased during Christmas. They had, I think it was like maybe a little bit smaller than this size of all of the different ones they offered in their cleansing balm line. When I did that, I found that I actually preferred the original one the best, but I am actually going through a real like skin regression right now. I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is. I think the problem is I'm using products in my skincare line that are a bit too moisturizing and it's just causing me to start to have breakouts. Like I've got like a pretty nasty pimple up here happening and then in my chin area. So I've been trying to rectify it. And so along the time that I was working through that and like experiencing that, I thought this could be really helpful. So I'm definitely looking forward to testing it out. I like the two sizes in here because I feel like I can get a real understanding of if this does compete with the original one in the pink container. And if so, I might purchase that going forward. Then there was Tree Hut. So like in general last year, as I really got turned on to Tree Hut, I noticed that they would always release seasonal scents. And it's basically like, if you blink and miss it, they are not coming back. Target sometimes gets them, Target sometimes doesn't. I don't really know how it works with Target, but with Ulta, I was poking around and they were releasing the same trio that they had last year, but it had two scents that I just wasn't a big fan of. They had like some berry cranberry scent I tried last year, which I thought was just meh. And then they also had their not seasonal, just rose scent mixed in there. And I was like, no, didn't really enjoy that either but they had this one that caught my eye which is holiday cheer they don't really provide a lot of description for what the scent is but I figured I'd go ahead and just purchase it and see what I thought yeah this is like a spicy men's cologne balsam fur mashup definitely something that I think if it were like a lotion I probably wouldn't wear it reads too uh, masculine in my opinion too cologne -y. For my preference but in the shower might be great i also love the vibrant green color so i'm gonna get myself to use it i've had, I've had a few misses recently with the tree hut scrub line but even if i don't love the scent the quality of the scrub is what i really care about so i will definitely use it but not sure i would have gotten it if i had smelled it in store like at a target the last brand that caught my eye at ulta was hemp's I gotta tell you, their holiday release was lovely. They had a whole little set of like these little bears. They had the set of lotions that I picked up and I really wanted the bears, except I have had trial sizes of hemp's lotions before and they were a bear literally to get out of the container without a pump. So when I saw those little bears, I was like, nope, just a screw top, not gonna be able to fuss with like all the manipulation, getting the packaging and the lotion out, like not doing any of that. But I came across their body butter duo. These scents just seemed so interesting. I was really into the idea of them. It comes with sugar cookie dough, which this scent, I mean, yeah, this is, oh my gosh. It definitely has more cinnamon 
than I was expecting, but super yummy. And I love the container. It's only 3.5 ounces. So this will not take me super long to work through, which is nice. And the second one that it came with was raspberry ribbon jam cookie dough. I don't necessarily think this is super seasonally appropriate, but I didn't care. I still wanted to try it out. Ugh. Yeah. This is also yummy. I might actually end up using it this winter. The thing I like about Hems is I do like the quality of their lotion. I just never think to get lotion from them. So when I saw like the cute packaging and the different scents, I was all in on it. Really looking forward to working these in like alongside other things I'm trying to use up in my never ending project, use it up from my hoarding closet. Second place I made what might feel like a random order from was Native. So this is one of those like late night pumping sessions. I kept getting ads and all of a sudden everything was on sale and I was like, let me just go ahead and test some things out because these scents sound interesting. So I picked up two body washes. This is the spiked eggnog. First off, I did not realize how large these were. Again, I was half awake, half asleep when I made the order. So it's 18 ounces in here. And this one, yeah, it smells a lot like eggnog. So it's not inaccurate, but I don't know if I definitely want that as a scent. I'm not quite sure. This might end up being something that Ben ends up using, but it does smell exactly like they say. So if you come across this, I feel like sometimes in Target, they carry like the native seasonal stuff. It's why I typically like smell it, but I don't often like it. So got this one. And then I also snagged fresh mistletoe. Like I'm hoping this smells like Christmas trees. It's not. It is very much like Bath and Body Works men's care, like the men's line. It's not bad. I don't know if I'll use it either. Like these might just become Ben shower gels for him to use, but I do like the packaging of this. I like the way this stuff feels and I do like the way it's all presented. So not terrible and very reasonably priced, especially with the sale. I also got hooked in to a shampoo and conditioner because they are candy cane scented. Now I have to say, I don't love candy cane scented, um, like lotion or like body wash. I don't know. I don't love it. I tried Twisted Peppermint one time from Bath and Body Works. It just was not my jam, but I feel like the idea of minty, like cooling scalp, I don't know. That just sounds great. So I wanted to try these out. I love the pump packaging that these come with. And then I also got, I don't probably because I spent so much money. It wasn't that much. I also got this free little mini shampoo, which is a nice like travel size to have. So you can go ahead and smell the scent. Yeah. It smells exactly like candy canes. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. So hopefully I will like the sensation of it. I've never tried any of their hair care stuff, so I'm curious. And because I was so curious, I also grabbed a strengthening hair mask. Again, was interested to know what this was all about. I figured while I was here, I was already committed. I may as well just try something else interesting to me. And I was also at a point where I was looking for a hair mask. So I'll be able to use this and see what I think of it and if I want to purchase it again. But everything I thought was very reasonably priced, especially with the sale. I also placed an order with Impress. I was nervous at first because they made a lot of hoopla around some collaboration with a person. I don't know who it is. Um, Tom but I'm probably saying that incorrectly, but when they released his like line of nails, they presented it as though it might be their only holiday collection. And I was real nervous, even though I have holiday nails from last year, I was like, these can't be the only, these aren't like true holiday nails. And PS, I didn't like love. I didn't love the collaboration. I didn't love a lot of the nail shape. That was the biggest thing. I'm just a person who prefers the like square, ness of the nails. I don't like coffin or oval shape. They just don't jive with me. So I kind of was like, mm, whatever, I'm not going to get anything. It's no big deal. And then they released their actual holiday collection. And I was like, okay, cool. Now I'm here. I'm going to go place an order. So I did get one from that collaboration. I think these were really pretty. They're called at the after party. They're like a rose gold and maroon. These are the only ones I like from the collaboration. I think they're just very nice. And I also like that they're winter. They're not necessarily just Christmas, so I can wear them outside of December. I also will say this year with the Christmas nails, I really appreciated that there were a lot more, again, winter-esque nails and not everything was so straight up Christmas. So I got three that I believe I can wear outside of the Christmas season. One is a repurchase. They bring these out each year, which does not bother me. I really like them. These are called Feast and they're just these snowflake blue nails with some sparkly white silver nails. Like I think these are really nice and I do tend to get a box of these every year they're out. The second sort of snowflakey ones were called Cozy Up. 
They have a black tip for French, and then they've got these really pretty gold snowflakes on here. And then the last snowflake one that I picked up, again, there was almost like a like mini sub collection within the holiday line of snowflakes. These ones are called Winterful Life, and you've got like a white cream nail, and you also have these snowflakes here. Very, very pretty, like these a lot. Then for Christmas nails, um, some of these I feel like they came out with last year. And if I had not been so lazy and walked upstairs and checked my current Christmas nail stash, I maybe wouldn't have gotten these because I think I still have them from last year, but don't care. I ended up getting Jingle Bells, which if you look at them this way, I really like the off-white Christmas tree. Very, very pretty with the ornament and the gold. Those are nice. I also got Dear Santa, which I feel like they had a variation of these last year, but not this exact one. And then the final ones I did have last year, but I do like, they're called Make It Rain with a little reindeer on here. Oh yeah, a lot happening here. I do like the matte of these as well. So very well stocked. Um, I haven't even checked out Dashing Diva's Christmas nails. I don't think I'm going to because I am well stocked here. If they have like wintry nails, I might get a few, but doubt that. I definitely need to get on my Christmas nail game because I have so many Christmas nails to be able to use and wear this year, which is really exciting. And then the last place I have an order from is Sephora. As you maybe saw, if you were anywhere near YouTube or social media during the last few weeks, Sephora had their annual or biannual, I should say, VIB sale. And I wasn't planning on going too like crazy with it, but similar to the spring, they offered 30% off the Sephora collection, which I really love because I will say there are a number of things I have tried out from the Sephora collection that I'm a big fan of. So I will go ahead and spoil it for you. I decided to pick up two of the Lash Craft Lash Primers. This might be stealing the infamous spot of my the Violet one from Milani. I'm using that one right now and I keep thinking like, I miss this. So I figured I would grab two. They're very reasonably priced. Overall, I find the Sephora collection is quite reasonably priced. So to have it 30% off, I was super jazzed with. And they released that like before your different tiers. So I didn't order separately to get the Sephora collection stuff just in case it was going to sell out. I also grabbed what I like to grab every single year. I really love the holiday releases that they do from their masks. So I grabbed two. Look at how cute these are packaged. I grabbed two of the coconut foot masks and then I grabbed two of the mango ones. The scents are not at all like seasonally appropriate, but I just like the fun festive packaging. And again, I get them discounted for 30% off, which is awesome. And I also picked up, cause they did have one that caught my eye that was seasonal, the soothing mask with gingerbread fragrance. And they gave me this cute gingerbread packaging. So all of those were also snagged. And then there was a couple of other things from the Sephora collection that I've had my eye on that I just hadn't pulled the trigger on. The first was this tool. It is a face mask applicator. You basically have two ends here. You have almost like a spatula side and then you have this like scrubby side here. I have purchased a few of their mask like silicone accessories, namely the thing I use all the time without fail whenever there's a sheet mask on my face is their like sheet mask, like silicone holder. I don't think they sell it anymore. And people could have thought that was silly, but I liked it because I don't just lay there with a mask on my face. I typically like do other things or I'm at least reading. So I'm sitting up and sheet mask would always like slide down, but that little mask keeps it right on my face, which I love. So I thought I would try this out. I have been using um, like a foundation brush that like a paint on foundation brush as a way to apply a mask, but I don't know how like sanitary that is compared to using something like this. So I thought I would go ahead and try this out. I think it was normally $10. So with the sale, it was $7, which I didn't think was an unfair price for this. And the last thing I got was a hair mask. I was very curious about their Sephora hair mask. Um, I'm kind of in a moment right now. I need to be careful when this happens, when I do run out of something and don't have it in the hoarding closet. Sometimes it like opens up this 
floodgate for me where I'm like, oh, I need to get, I need to get some. And then I buy like three and it's like, no, no, you just needed to get one. So I do now have two and I'll be curious if these are any better than the fortune cookie soap one that I recently had fallen in love with. So I'll keep you posted. Okay. Then we come to the two like bonusy things I wanted to get during the sale. I decided to spoil myself and get the Sephora favorites a lash dash to go. I recently in a recent trash talk was talking about the version of this that they were selling, which they might still be selling which was like clean brands at Sephora mascara kit. And I just in general like this setup with Sephora. I like the idea of trying out a trial and then getting a coupon to cash in for a full size one of these, especially when I know that there's at least one in here I'm guaranteed to like. So it's less of like a risk if I'm not gonna like any of them. And I do think it's well worth the value because travel mascara is like this, either you have to pay a few dollars for or you have to cash in like your Sephora points. So I didn't think this was a bad price at all, $29. And then again, you get a voucher to get any of these. It comes with the Tarte uh, Lights Lashes Camera, which is one I've used before. I know that I'd like it. The Huda Beauty Legit Lashes, the Rare Beauty Mascara, Bad Girl Bang, and the Lancome Lash Dole. And I typically like Lancome mascaras, so I hadn't tried four out of the five, and I'm very excited to test these out. I'm on like a huge mascara kick these days. I also, was I was in need of a cleansing balm, and I typically am always using two cleansing balms at once. I'll have one in my drawer so that if there's a time I'm not showering at night, I'll take my cleanser balm out from that drawer. Most often though, I am using a cleansing balm in the shower, and I've been wanting to try from the Inky List their oat cleansing balm, but it is always out of stock when I go to buy it. So it was finally in stock. So I went ahead and snagged this one. I've never tried a cleansing balm package like this. So I'm going to be really curious to see how it goes. And then lastly, as I was perusing the site, I came across a really delightful set. This is the Cleanse Your Way Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser Duo. Like how great is this? This retails for $38. It is a $48 value and I had the discount on top of it. And I was somebody who really liked this cleanser, but wasn't sure I wanted to keep spending like the full dollars for it because it's quite pricey. It's the priciest cleanser I have used out of all of my cleansers. And I'm not super adverse to paying for a cleanser. I find that cleansers are very effective for my skincare routine, but it does hurt the wallet. But when I saw this, I was like, oh man, hopefully it's still like, in stock when I go to get it and it wasn't but thanks to buy online pickup in store I was able to purchase it and buy it in store like I went and picked it up from my local Sephora otherwise I wouldn't have gotten my hands on this I am not shocked it sold out at all because it's a great value this is what it looks like when you unbox it you have the eight fluid ounce size you also have the two ounce size and then it came with a pump for you to use but icing on the cake because I had to place two different orders. I had placed the um, order to get the mascara and the cleansing balm. And then I had previously placed that Sephora collection order. I actually cashed in Sephora points to get two more of these half ounce bottles of this. So I got another ounce of this for 200 Sephora points. So I'm well stocked on this cleanser. I'm really, really excited about it. I think this was a great use of my Sephora purchasing and very, very pleased to have restocked on it. Hopefully they do a kit like this in future seasons. That way I can keep buying it and not hurting my wallet as much. I also got some samples. I got two of the RMS Revolve Natural Finish Foundation. And then I've been really curious about the Benefit new blush rollout. So I got Shelly and Krista to see those as well. And then lastly, I got this Lancome uh, Sills Booster XL Mascara Base. I feel like I've tried this before, but I don't remember. And I just love trying some, uh, lash primers all the time. Whew, so there you have it. A lot of things I have picked up for myself. No regrets over here. I feel like I haven't done a lot of self-care shopping these days. So so really jazzed to have some new things to try out and then some other things that I have restocked on. I'd be really curious to know if you hit up any of the fall haul sale or Sephora VIB sale. Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in my next video real soon. Bye.